بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم You know one day I was in the masjid and one man came to me and pointed at another imam and said you see that imam when he reads he reads too long and I am looking at him and I said what do you mean he reads too long and I know that imam he said he reads very long you know it it really discourages us from coming to the masjid so you need to have a word with him I said my brother I need to have a word with you because I have heard the Imam on Friday. You are saying he read too long. He read Sabbihisma and Hal Ata. That is a Sunnah. You want him to drop the Sunnah? If that was the case, we would read Inna Atayna Kal Kawthar every Jum'ah. And then what would happen? So then later on, two, three days later, he comes back to me and he told me, you know, I ask Allah to forgive me. I was thinking of what you were saying. He says, I, it is only Jum'ah that I attend anyway. And even that, I was thinking it's too long. So I told him, there you are. If you want, you may go for Salatul Maghrib. You'll find it quite short. But my brothers and sisters, wouldn't you agree with me that a lot of us, listen to this, I'm just swiping, okay? A lot of us, when we start our Salah and we finish our Surah Al-Fatiha, the first thing we say, it happens to a lot of people. That instead of thinking of the other Surahs you know, I know Surah Al-Duha, Alam Nashrah, I know so Atin, I know so many others. Why do we sometimes go for the shortest? May Allah grant us forgiveness. Really, think about it. We are talking of Nuzul Quran. You know other surahs. Li ila fi Quraysh, alam tara. Read other surahs as well. Don't stick your salah to inna atayna kal kawthar and qul huwa Allahu ahad for every salah you have. Come on. May Allah grant us forgiveness. I'm saying this because I know we talk to people and wallahi, it happens to a lot of people and they, they admit to say, you know what? Somehow now that you're telling me it's true. Allahu Akbar. Your salah is valid, but come on, we need a better link with the Quran. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us.